Hello, trading is closed on December 26, 2014. I'm Jeff Tennant. Let's change our usual order around and go over today's pattern first and then review my last call. BJT didn't have much to say today. In the afternoon, it gave a buy, but a W means it's a weak buy. There's also a status window that says the target is already hit. It's kind of an unusual concept for people who aren't familiar with the system to realize a buy doesn't always mean buy. It means there's a target at a higher price. The target was already hit. There's resistance over it. And the rules say it's a weak buy in any case. So one should not be looking to go long. One should be looking for resistance in this area. Resistance doesn't have to hold, but here it did. My last call was that this closing price was very negative, and that while the timing of the drop was suspicious, only gapping up and quickly taking out this high would invalidate the negative implications of the move. Well, that's what happened. Today we have the same pattern over again. We have a gap up, a series of new highs, and we can't hold any of them. Not only can't we hold the highs, we can't hold any of these lows. This is really the same type of pattern we had yesterday. This is the range of today's pattern measured from the origin of the gap. You'll see if you measure from the origin of the gap on Wednesday, it's 50%, so it's a two-to-one thing. It's a carbon copy. When that happens, you're not going to expect the same thing to happen three times in a row. It's the same pattern as yesterday and the same prediction as yesterday. Either we have a gap up, quickly take out these highs or this pattern is trouble. Let's see how much tr trouble. Here's a stilt. Here's a diamond. Half is enough. If we gap down only seven points to the origin of the left stilt, we have a diamond on stilts pattern. Now usually the first challenge of the left stilt holds. But here, we have a stilt here. This whole pattern could be a diamond, but this is the middle of the diamond. And that means if we gap down seven points, we've come to the origin of that stilt, which has been tested once. The rule says if that happens, we could have a major league drop. Well, I've been pretty stubborn for a week. I'm looking for a high. I should have something else than that. Let's see what else we have. We have more sell signals from Tom DeMarc on different time frames. There's the 78-minute chart. Goes along with the 65. We also have a daily and a monthly. We can't rely on this Fibonacci pattern any longer, so we'll have to get rid of that. But there are other Fibonacci patterns here. If you go from here, take 61.8%, that's today's close. And if you measure from here to here, there's 38.2% at this high. Usually a significant high is going to be a Fibonacci pattern, a Fibonacci a target of a previous consolidation. As I said previously, you don't have to call the top exactly. If I'm correct about this being a cup and this being a handle sloping up, 
What I'd like to see is this sloping line break. Typically there's a retracement back up to the line and that would be it. That would be a reasonable place to enter a short position, a target being at least to hit this cup's low prior to overtaking one of these highs significantly. So it isn't too good and if you draw a line like this, don't forget this tail doesn't mean anything. It was a gap open. The open's really here. When you connect these, we have a good break at the end. Well, I'm not stubborn too often, but I'm going to be stubborn here. I think a break out to new highs on very low volume, which can't hold holiday or not, is not a positive chart. Uh, late on a Friday of... Uh, Holiday weekend is the last time to anticipate a drop, giving up all of the gains of the day. Don't forget this is the time of the year when sellers should be drying up. I think either the bulls pull another rabbit out of a hat and break this high early, preferably by having a gap over it, or else we should see lower prices Monday, and they could be much lower prices if we have a straight line move down to that low. And that's today's call.